Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we have a lot to discuss because we have a lot of price action going on not only on Bitcoin but also on Ethereum. So today we're gonna cover both coins and also we're gonna have a look into the Bitcoin dominance and of course also into the CME chart. So stick in here till the end of the video, my friends, and let's start here in the Bitcoin price in the four hour time frame. Because as you can see right now, we had here this uh, quite decent dump here, which immediately got bought back up very, very quickly. And uh, if we go over into the Bollinger Bands, you can see that currently we bottomed out exactly at the bottom at $27,700. And right now we are seeing this uh, big, push to the upside from 27,700 straight again towards 30,000 and right now as you can see we are trading below the 9 and 20 moving average in the 4 hour time frame and the 20 moving average right now is at $31,500. So be aware my friends that if this 4 hour candle is going to close below the 20 moving average and maybe we also come up here to confirm this new resistance we could be in a bigger correction at least towards the 2 on the moving average right here at $23,000 in the Bitcoin price. But if we are able to close this four hour candle again above the 20 moving average, or maybe if we don't confirm it as a new resistance and the next four hour candle will close above, then we should be heading towards a higher levels than $35,000, the local top that we had so far. And although if we zoom out here a little bit, you can see that we just bounced here at the first 0.236 Fib line based on the bottom that we had in March and the local top here at $35,000. So right now we just came at the first FIB level and we immediately bounced back up, which is of course a very bullish sign, but we have to keep a very close eye on this price level because if we are dropping below and start to close four hour candles below this first FIB line, so below $27,700, then I think we will see continuation to the downside and therefore we have to target here the next FIB line which is coinciding with the 200 moving average at $23,000 and this is also the area where also previously we had a lot of consolidation here before we geared up for the next big move to the upside. So let's see if this was already the correction or if we're gonna see continuation. This is all going to be depending on these four hour closes that we're gonna have here in the next couple of hours. And of course, we're also gonna have to look in the daily closes because this is also going to be very key. But before we go into the daily time frame, let's also have a quick look into the stochastic because currently we are potentially coming to a bottom here and we could see a big bounce to the upside. So that's why I think we will see potentially another retest here between $33,000 to $32,000 before maybe we continue to the downside. The problem is only that the MACD and KST are looking again a bit bearish and here since also in the MACD we had a bearish cross I think we will see continuation to the downside potentially to reach the target of $23,000 maybe even today. But let's wait and see where we're gonna close the next couple of four hour candles and if we have a look now into the CME chart you can see that this big gap that we created over the weekend now got filled so this first CME gap that we have below of us got filled and we of course still have these little ones down here at seventeen and eighteen thousand dollars but as you can see we still have a big one down here twenty three thousand dollars this is perfectly coinciding with our potential target if twenty seven thousand will not hold as a support so it is very likely that maybe we can come down here to close the CME gap and also test the 4 hour 200 moving average which is in theory also a potential target here of this drop that we are seeing right now. And now let's switch over into the daily time frames my friends because currently you can see that we are still are trading above the 9 daily moving average so as long as we're closing daily candles above the 9 daily here right at 29,340 we should be still gearing up towards new all-time highs 
but as soon as we are starting to close daily candles below this 9 daily moving average or even worse below the 20 daily right here at $26,300 then be aware that we could see a potential correction towards the 50 or 100 daily moving average so between here $22,000 and $17,500 and they are also coinciding with the 9 and 20 weekly moving average and those moving average as you know by now if you are subscribed in this channel are very important moving averages and support levels also during a bull run because Bitcoin also during a bull run likes to come down to retest those important moving averages in the weekly and then gear up for another big parabolic move to the upside. So the daily time frame is still looking bullish but be aware that as soon as we're starting to close daily candles below these important moving averages we could be in a bigger correction which could take us again towards 20k and lower. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Bands you can also see that here also we are still trading to the upside we are on the bullish side and as long as we're closing these daily candles at least above the middle line here of around $26,000 we are trading on the bullish side and we should expect continuations to the upside if we're gonna have a daily close below then be aware that we could drop easily at least towards 19,570 so at around 20k and I think if we're coming down to these levels where also the nine weekly moving average is lining up at around 20k we could also see a potential little week towards the 20 weekly at around 16 to 17 thousand dollar therefore we have to go later into the weekly time frame but here the daily is still looking bullish my friends it's all going to be depending where we're gonna start to close this next couple of days because we still have MACD and KSD shifted to the upside of course they are looking a bit overbought and toppy and even in the stochastic right now we had a bearish cross and as you can see we're starting to cool off here a bit so I think maybe this week we're gonna see continuations to the downside potentially to test important supports level to then gear up again to the upside because Bitcoin usually during a bull run recovers very very fast so if a correction happens I think it's gonna take maximum one to two weeks and then we're gonna continue again to go to the upside I don't think that if we're gonna see a bigger correction it will last for long because as you can see all these dips are bought back up immediately because everyone right now wants to buy Bitcoin we have FOMO we have institutions that are buying Bitcoin so they take advantage with every dip that we are seeing and that's why if we're gonna see such a correction it's gonna be very short-lived my friends so be ready to buy as much as you can and also scale in some long positions maybe even today here without leverage on Bybit maybe you can also do a 2 or 3x but don't go right now with too high leverage in my friends better to start with low leverage and then if you are sitting already in profits with your trade then you can rise up your leverage but right now in my opinion maximum 2 or 3x should be enough so your liquidation price is far far away from the potential bearish targets and now let's have a look into the weekly time frame as well because right now we can update here the 9 and 20 weekly moving average the 9 weekly right now is exactly at $23,000 also at our potential target here if 27,000 will not hold and the 20 weekly moving average is currently here at around $16,700 so in my opinion it is still very likely that we could reach these two moving averages at any time and if we're coming down to $23,000 and you see the price going even below then watch out for this price level here at $17,000 I have buy orders already here starting at the 9 weekly moving average down to the 20 weekly if they all got hit I'm very happy but of course if we're gonna stop here at the 9 weekly moving average and then immediately bounce back up I will remain with some fiat on the sideline which is also okay if someday we're gonna have another potential dip I can buy more but always split your entries my friends never go all in because you never know what will happen and it is also okay to have a little bit of cash on the sideline so at least you're flexible to buy if the price is doing something completely crazy like having a 50% drop or anything like that and remember that even if we drop down to those levels we will still remain very bullish for the long term so buy every dip even this correction that is going on right now is good to buy because for the long term you will be very profitable but of course if you want to try to accumulate at cheaper prices then maybe wait a little bit more at least till we're gonna test here the nine weekly moving average currently right here at $23,000 where also the 0.382 fib line is lining up if this 35,000 was the local top 
and we're gonna see here a correction to the downside potentially to this fib line and if this 23,000 will not hold then watch out for the 0.618 fib line at around $16,000 where also our 20 weekly moving average is lining up so my friends you see these price levels are still in the cards and are also healthy if Bitcoin is coming down to these levels everyone will be happy to buy at these cheap price levels so be ready to scale in some nice longs over on Bybit or Femex and of course also to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible maybe this week is going to be the week that we're gonna see this correction and if not remember that sooner or later we potentially are coming down to test these two moving averages here in the weekly and then gear up for the next big parabolic move to the upside because we are still far far away from our target way above 100k so the only thing that you have to do right now is to be prepared to buy the dip and also scale in long positions if you still need an account over on Bybit or Femex use my links down below here because with my referral links you will get some bonus and here are also the recommended exchanges that I'm also using especially Bybit and Femex very nice exchanges very safe and very liquid so this is what you want to have for such an exchange and remember that on Bybit and Femex you can also trade altcoins so for example if you want to take advantage of these nice pumps that we are seeing currently in ethereum then remember that also on bybit you can trade ethereum with your ethereum or also with your tether so make sure that you have a bybit and femex account because on those exchanges you can trade with various coins and if you're completely new in the crypto space then make sure to open up right now an account over on swissborg binance and also coinbase all my referral links are down below here because with my links you will get some extra money and also some bonus so you can buy more cryptos and on coinbase for example you can get some free altcoins as well with the nice coinbase earn feature that only coinbase have so if you're new in the crypto space or you don't have yet a platform where to buy all the cryptos that you want make sure to use the recommended exchanges that i'm also using and use my links down below here to get this free bonus so now my friends let's have a look on the ethereum chart because currently ethereum is going completely completely parabolic here this is the weekly time frame and you can see that we are now very very close to the old all-time high here of one thousand four hundred twenty dollar and I told you in some videos ago that if we're able to break $600, we potentially are going straight towards 750, the next potential resistance point. And if 750 is gonna get broken, then watch out for $910. Also in the past, this acted as a resistance or support point. And right now you can also see that we are coming down to confirm this $900 as a support. And I'm expecting also here continuation to the upside, potentially to reach again 1130 we had here a little overshoot and then immediately you see that some people took already profits but I'm still very bullish on the Ethereum price as well and I think all the Ethereum will do very nice big pumps in this year and that we are still far away from a potential top so I think that all the Ethereum is gonna break here the old all-time high very very soon so as soon as we see 1420 broken I'm expecting a similar scenario like in Bitcoin where we're gonna see a massive pump to the upside and create new all-time highs almost on a daily base and if you're a long-term subscriber here in my channel you know that i'm also mining next to trading and i'm usually mining with kudo miner or nice hash always ethereum some ethereum i gotta keep for the long term but the most of it i always change it into bitcoin and if you're also interested in mining then make sure to use my download codes down below here for the nice hash and also kudo miner because you will get some extra satoshi bonus and i have also in my videos a playlist in regarding to mining so how profitable for example the new nvidia graphics card are and also what miner i'm using and what the expected revenue is so make sure to watch also those videos that you can find in my playlist in my channel so congratulations to all ethereum hodler i think in the future also here we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside so for everyone that bought here when we bottomed out here between 400 dollars down to 70 dollars you should be sitting now in very nice profits and it is always good also to take some profits like we're seeing right now but also hodling my friends hodling ethereum here in this year i think it's gonna be very very profitable because here we are still far away from the old all-time high and i think here you still can do very nice gains of course it's always the best to keep the most in bitcoin but flipping so 
some of these altcoins like Ethereum, Chainlink, Band, Bancor and so on in this coming year if we're gonna see a little altcoin season like we're seeing right now also in yesterday's video I told you that most likely we're gonna see here sooner or later a correction in the Bitcoin dominance like we have seen yesterday as you can see here in the four hour time frame we dropped here from 73% down to 68% and whenever this happens we always see some of the altcoins uh, pumping like crazy and what we have seen yesterday and today is still the beginning and in my opinion not really an altcoin season but at least since we were expecting here a drop in the Bitcoin dominance it was expected that we're gonna see some of these altcoins pumping like crazy and I think the ones that pumped yesterday and today are also the ones that gonna be very very profitable in the future so watch out for those coins that were profitable yesterday and today because I think in the future if we're gonna see a massive altcoin season those coins are the one which will outperform all the other coins they maybe even outperform Bitcoin but always keep in mind that for the long term is good to just hold Bitcoin and also taking out profits into Bitcoin I usually never take out profits from altcoins in dollar because for me the only reason to keep altcoins is only to make more profits into Bitcoin to multiply my Bitcoin and not to multiply my altcoins and of course not to multiply my US dollar so my main goal when I'm flipping always from fiat or Bitcoin into altcoins is only to get more Bitcoin. So let's see if here the Bitcoin dominance continues to fall. I think right now we could see a potential local bottom and the Bitcoin dominance will increase here again, especially if Bitcoin continues to correct. A lot of altcoins most likely are also going to start to dump pretty soon and then it's always good to cash out in dollar or to swap back in Bitcoin. Because if Bitcoin corrects a lot, you will see an even bigger bloodbath in the altcoins. So even if the market is crashing, it's always better to be in Bitcoin than in altcoins. So with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up let's see what will happen in the next couple of hours as you can see right now we are closing the four hour candle below the 20 moving average right at $31,500 if we are coming up here towards this moving average and confirm it as a new resistance you might open a little short position down towards $23,000 but I always recommend during an uptrend to look for good long opportunities so maybe just wait if we're coming down to $23,000 to scale in some nice longs over there and maybe even buy more Bitcoin at this price level because even if Bitcoin could fall towards these price levels we will still remain bullish for the long term and we should expect co big continuations to the upside. So if you like the content my friends please hit that like button subscribe to the channel I do daily TA videos and also follow me over on Twitch and Discord. In Discord we have a great crypto family a very nice crypto community so feel free to join it and this is also where you can get access to my own indicator live stream which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin and this is also where you can get the full code for your own trading view if you want. You can contact me of course directly in discord so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now